So now we come to the assessment of tests. Now I'm talking especially to the, to the judges, uh, but also the non-judges, the riders, trainers, and uh, the fans, they should understand a little bit more about the judges and the judging. First of all, we come to duties. The judge's main task is setting standards, enhance quality of writing through scoring and commenting. The judge must judge as you what all sees. know and forget the first names point or pass the training experience. scale is rhythm. No rhythm is a world champion as an element on a score. I mean, if Second they get point, a nine for their suppleness, if they mess it up, the maybe the next time they get a six. freedom, why not? Of anxiety. The responsibility of Come the judge is to record what takes place in the, the arena of big and a fair carriage assessment of each movement. And then we come to impulsion, which is judges risk and need to encourage riders to take bold risks. Straightness, but risk is they equal vital on both ranks. Brilliance. Finally, and the collection is the engagement the and balance. So, which as means you that all the know, judge, as to a judge, the first point the in the training scale is rhythm. So, if I want to rhythm see is actually an extended regularity for an eight and for a nine, the second point, and the I'm pushing a little bit too hard, and the whole elasticity or the freedom the of anxiety. So, then I have to come down from the nine and go Contact to the six or third five. point which is the acceptance of big and A and self-carriage is very important and adds to the degree and then of we come to impulsion and there I would like to join the benches again on high court. And I was so happy to hear talking about riding the through the whole corners. on both ranks. Finally, finally, the collection is the whole engagement that so balance. That's in a test. The corners, you wonder why they are there, you might as well put flowers on a tree in each corner. <laughs> and each corner is an exercise, and each corner brings the horse from the inside leg to the outside rein. And that's how it should be. So this is part of precision. If a rider never goes through the corner, he will never have a high score for his seat and influence on the horse. Momentary lack of attention on the first occurrence caused by outside disturbances should be forgiven. By these outside disturbances, I'm thinking about uh, a dog or a rabbit or jumps in the arena uh, or uh, a kind of newspaper whooped flies. I mean, it's normal that the horse would shy of it. But if he keeps shying afterwards, I mean, oh, no. that's different. <laughs> and then, as you might think, that's why I put it in red, the basic principles must always prevail in fulfilling the requirements of the training scale. The dressage judge should know the test as well as the marking system. Be prepared for a judging competition. This is part of the fairness from the judge to the rider. I mean, if I've been partying all night and I had a few drinks too much, I certainly am not fit enough and not sharp enough to judge the competition. If the riders and the horses must be fit, the judge must be fit too. Have knowledge of the training scale. In each movement that you judge, you must always think about all the points of the training scale. Is he regular? Pay attention to your communication skills. Ask for feedback on the body language, your body language. If, if you come, uh, you step out of your car, you go through the back door, you are hiding and uh, you, uh, you don't want to talk to people because you are too shy. I'm sure you will not have a long judge's life. <laughs> Listen carefully to criticism. Make contact and show respect. 
Repeat questions and ask for clarifications when they ask you a question. Avoid defensiveness and bad excuses. If somebody comes to you and says, why did you only give a four to my PF? The other colleagues gave eight and nine. Don't say I have the sun in my eyes. <laughs> Uh, never take criticism personally and create a communication strategy. So, my personal advice from the years that I've been judging, I would say the rules should be our guidance. Do not discuss a rider with another. If they come and say, you gave an A to that one and why only six? Well, you don't have to tell anybody why you gave the other rider an eight, but just discuss the six from the one who talks to you. The result sheets are interesting, but do not keep them. You have to throw them away. Never keep them. Do not forget collegiality. We are a team of judges. And a five is a five, and an eight is an eight all over the world. Here, in Russia, in China, in Argentina. You have to judge the same way, keep the same rules and lines in your mind. If you hesitate and you say, oh, shall I give a, a seven or shall I give an eight? Mm -hmm. There are many cases that it is a doubt and that you would say oh, seven and a half would be the best mark, but it doesn't exist. <laughs> So instead of scratching your head, you better put it in words and say, was it fairly good or was it good? And you say, I decide it was good. Okay, that is an eight, it's simple. So it's much easier to judge with words. If you are judging on your own or with a team, the evaluation should be the same. It happens that when you are sitting three or five judges together, that you will say, oh, okay, this is a seven for the extended shot. And when you are sitting on your own, that suddenly you are more severe, you come up with a six, or you get so enthusiastic that you give an eight or a nine. No, you have to keep your lines. And one of the very important things for judges, be strong in your minds. But we can go back to the training scale for the forces and the training. Then we can say it must be supple, relaxed, and free from anxiety. So then the last bit for the judges is judges should think positively and should be encouraging. Always look for quality first and later deduct for the mistake. And then the most of all, most important is quality is guaranteed by the basic principles. And then, I don't know if you can read it, it says if the judge for any reason does not realize until the competitor <laughs> has left the arena that one or more movements have been omitted, he must adjust as necessary. You better put it in words and say, was it fairly good or was it good? And you say, I decide it was good. Okay, that is an eight, it's simple. So it's much easier to judge with words. 